I'd like to do really is debunk just one thing right out of the gate that uh, every short game or every good chipper of the golf ball or pitcher of the ball, then there's a difference in a chip and a pitch, and I'll describe that here in a second. But the idea that you've got to, you know, have your weight left and hands forward, ball back, and hit that shot uh, around the green is is kind of a myth. I mean, there, it's an okay shot, Brandel, but there are so many different ways to do it. We're going to work on some of those ways today. I'll show you the, the lean left and shaft forward ball back chip shot and that's a great shot to have but how often do you get to have just that shot if you've got a lie that's a little bit dicey or if you've got to land it on the putting surface you've got to get the ball in the air and that's what i want to teach y'all how to do today so so where do you uh stand the shaft up when you set up to the ball i mean do you well the, i think the first and most important thing is you have a nice narrow stance and it's slightly open I, if i see a guy with a wide stance trying to fly the ball on the green from this distance i know he's already in deep trouble if i see a guy with a shaft ahead of the ball he's in deeper trouble so i would actually like to see your feet you know i'd rather see you air with your feet touching than with your feet too far apart. And you know, my feet are pretty it. close together when I chip and when I pitch. And the difference in a chip and a pitch is simply that the leading edge works on a chip shot. The ball's back, the shaft's forward, your weight's left. The leading edge hits the ground first and the ball jumps out in front of the face. And that's a fine shot to have. But everybody who plays golf can already do that because it's kind of, isn't it? Kind of all we hear. That's all I A pitch is different. That's when the bottom of the club or the bounce is engaged. And when that happens and you get that shaft to be released at impact, not leaning forward, but released, the bottom of the club's engaged and you can get the club to, believe it or not, slip past the ball and then have the ball go up in the air. And that's what the tour player does. And that's what the single handicapper does. I like to see the 25 ha handicapper and the 30 ha handicapper being taught how to pitch the ball. Because I think that's the way you're going to lower your handicap, Brandon. But what allows you to do that is the way you set up to the ball. Well, it does. And I want to put my feet close together and I want to get that shaft up to about straight up and down. Not back, but I'd rather you air back if you wanted to flight. It the almost ball feels back because everybody sets up like right. that. I've done this with you and it when I do it, it feels like it's back. It does feel back, but then we took a picture of you and you look fantastic. The shaft was straight up and down. This is no good if you want to flight the ball in the air at all. So with a narrow stance and the shaft back or straight up and down, I try to return the shaft to that position. Not a lot of wrist caught going back because I want to unload it. But the goal is to get the bottom of the club to hit the ground. A little bit of a drop kick actually is a pretty nice thing. So you see tour players get the ball up in the air on a shot like this and they do it all day long and it's a piece of cake for them. And it's because they release that what club at the bottom. And they get the bottom of the club to tap the ground first. The leading edge.